All right, guys, hop on the road. We've stopped now with, to talk to Lisa Lyons at the, the Webstone Nibco booth. Uh, I'm a big fan and longtime user of the Webstone products, Lisa, so you know that. Yes. You see them on all my install picks. I'm, I'm, I'm utilizing new stuff you have coming out with. I've been using stuff for years that I just, I don't want you to ever get rid of. <laughs> we won't. Right? But you've got a whole bunch of new products. Always. Varying from, yeah, always. Always. Exactly. Always. So you've got some new copper press stuff. You've got some three-way, so all different configurations of ball valves. But I want to start with something that's super exciting to me. You've got iron press ball valves. Yes, we do. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're right behind me. So you've got a combination of lots of different things, yep. as, as Webstone always does. But can you explain what you're offering now with this product? Absolutely. So what we're doing is trying to offer a complement that's out there for the carbon steel item. This is just a brass alternative to that. Right. So if you look at the, the new products that are coming out for Nibco, the Webstone solution is the same on the inside, just in a brass variety. We offer it for both applications, so whether it be for water or for gas. All right? Really? Yes. Okay. And uh, they're designated by the color codes on the device, the green for the water, the yellow for the gas, straight through IPP by IPP. IPP ball valve, uh, the female by IPP transition, and for just the water applications, we do have our popular ball drain available with that new connection technology. Oh, that's great yeah. for, for heating systems yeah, and I'm cooling chilled that. systems, stuff mm -hmm. like that. So these are rated for water or, or you could get it no. for water or gas. You have, it, it's one application or the other right, because right. of the O-rings. Because of the seal yeah, element. The so the green okay. is for water, the yellow is for gas, but it's a parallel line offering with the exception of the ball valve. Mm -hmm. And so when are these available? They used to be available this summer. Really? Yep. Price point is going to be competitive with other products on the market, but with other products. does bre does making this out of brass does that lower the price point versus it, the it carbon be steel? It's a little bit more competitive than the carbon steel is, and I know that some places they really like the carbon steel, and that's yeah. great, and that's fine, and we have a solution for that. But for some places where maybe they're a little slower to adopt this newer press technology, now we have a solution that can make it a little bit easier for them to do so. Yeah, I like the material just for corrosiveness and things mm -hmm. like that, so I'm interested in that awesome. right away. Awesome. Well, we'll keep you up to date. Cool. So you've got some new ball valves here, though. Uh, like a three-way ball press all the way around. So I'm used around. to a three-way drain valve, mm -hmm. like you've had for years, but why a three-way press valve? So we have two different solutions for you in the three-way. You can either use the L port, which is what you're holding, and this allows you to divert your fluid from one side to the other. Yeah. So just your plain diverter valve, but available in press. We've had a lot of requests for something like this, and so we're trying to respond to that. Right? Okay. And then the second option for the three-way is the T port. So this allows you to split your flow into two different channels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. But just making it available in press. These products are out there in the traditional joinery method, so why not press? Yeah, but you didn't stop there. You went with like even a union system, mm -hmm. right? These are my favorite from this year, I think. And I'm into the IPP, certainly, but this is this is Webstone quintessential. So we take a look. You know I watch everybody on Instagram, and I'm trying yeah, to see yeah. what they do. And so what we see is that these guys are running. They got, you know, they're run going through, and they're pulling branches off, four, four or five branches on every install. We're like, well, that's Webstone. We, can, we do that. Yeah. Let's just do it for you. So you go ahead, have the valve built right in, super fast with the press connections. You got your T, or if you just need to make a quick turn, we've got the angle built in there for you. Yeah, too. so it's serviceable, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Serviceable. Yeah. And it's a faster install. Mm -hmm. You guys never stop. Like, I think you've made the last thing I need, right? <laughs> and then you say, no, no, you're going to need you're more because we'll more. bring more stuff. Something else is annoying and we're going to fix that for yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> so you guys, there's a whole variety of all your all your new adapters for going from copper press to various types of PEX products, yep. right? Yep. yep. Those have been around for a while. Have you added to that collection? We did add to that line. They've been incredibly popular, very, very well received by the market. Very pleased about that product line. And so this year we said, all right, let's focus on the radiator base boards. Right? Yeah. So we added in the connection sizes that we need to do that. We've got three quarter by half inch, so from the press to the PEX, one inch uh, press to the three quarter inch packs, um, packaging them with the fin tube stiffeners. Uh, and besides the stiffener, we have went one step further and we are integrating the two vent options for you. So depending on what your application calls for, if you've got packs running in this direction, you can install your vent here, but if you, or press rather, if you've got the packs running in this direction, you can install your vent. Just relocate the plug to the unneeded port and throw in one of the coin vents you've got in your truck and uh, you're good to go. Well, see, I want to stop, I want to go back just one second. I think this is significant. What people don't realize is you, if it, you've already included the insert. Yes. So that's not a separate skew. It's no. part of the, it, it's not coming out? Oh, it does come out. Oh, the I see. I have it installed I, there, so I it see. can't yeah. walk away. Okay. But okay. Uh, the way it's packaged is it won't, it'll packaged in such a way that it doesn't damage the O-ring. Yeah, but so now, like you said, this is pretty significant. Two ports. I could put uh, 
an air valve on one side, yeah. or I can just I can put an, uh, a coin vent uh -huh. uh, in either orientation. In either orientation. I'm holding right now, if you can't tell on video, the half uh, half inch PEX A mm -hmm. by three quarter inch press. Yes, yeah. This is like the most common mm -hmm. that is the hardest fitting to get right here. Well, it's go. the most common combination. Mm -hmm. It's very cool. Yeah, very we're really cool. excited about that. It's actually a patent pending item, so we're pretty psyched to have that. That's awesome. So, That's awesome. Lisa, stuff. I appreciate it. Thanks Thank so, you much. so much. It's great hey guys, to see you check out the Webstone products. Go to their website, see their whole entire catalog. It's huge. Honestly, I've been using their products for years and years. You're going to be surprised at what they offer. They're going to make fittings and, and can, you know configuration of valves of all different types you don't realize that you need until you use them and see how much time they save and space and money on the job site so this has been eric ani from mechanical hub on the road if you like this video please subscribe to our channel set your alerts to get notified when we uh, post a new video hopefully every single week but thanks for joining me at the webstone booth at ahr 2020 in orlando